lovely wife, Lisa, have driven all the way from out east on the island to come do a fabulous cultural presentation for us. So here is talk. Kitahane, Tarrant, and I'm from the Shinnecock Reservation in Southampton, New York. Um, I was born and raised on the Shinnecock Indian Reservation out there. I don't know how familiar everybody is with out east there because we don't get up this way too often. But um, we have a reservation out there, it's about 800 acres, and um, we have about 1,300 tribal members, 13, yeah, 1,300 tribal members who live there and abroad and we sort of live in a community and do everything sort of communal. We have communal land, for instance, my wife and I own, we don't own land, we share land. We have a piece of land that we were able to build our house upon and, and participate in the community in that fashion. That's sort of how we do things there. Um, my job, I'm the assistant curator at the Shinnecock Indian Cultural Center and Museum, and that's on the border of the Indian Reservation and Montauk Highway out in Southampton, New York, and uh, we opened our museum to the public in 2001. And we have an ongoing exhibit there called Walk with the People, and it sort of takes, uh, takes you through our history from 10,000 BC to today, and it's really interesting and awesome, so if you, if you can get out that way, it's, it's really uh, worth checking out. So tonight, um, I guess I'm talking about um, the season now that we're in, which is the spring. And our people celebrate a holiday in the spring called Sequaninit, and that's a, a, a strawberry celebration. It's the oncoming of spring and a new growing season, and all that's very important to us. Um, a particular thing about people who lived on the east end of Long Island, and pretty much all of Long Island, we had, um, we had the ability to move around, and that's kind of uncommon in most of what we call the civilized world back um, pre-contact 1600s. We were able to move from place to place and we weren't locked into where we were. So we would have these strawberry celebrations up and down the island all spring long. It was sort of time for us to get together, thaw out from the winter and sing and dance and, uh, um, and do our, our social thing and that's what we do. And we have, a, we have a bunch of social songs and dances that we do at these socials. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sing one of them. This is a rattle by the way. Massachusetts in uh, 1640, and they landed at Plymouth Rock in Southampton, 
North Sea area of Southampton, which was part of the Shinnecock clan. They're greeted by Chief Windanch, who was one of my great, 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 great ancestors, the Shinnecock people. Um, we were uh, we were forced into Christianity. That's, that's just the bottom line of it all. A lot of people passed away, and we had to um, we had to sort of adapt to what was going on. And we have this celebration, which um, it's an elaborate celebration that we do in a, a big house. We call it it's a big house sing, where you have two rows, and the men and women sit on either side of the rows. And they have to sing, and everyone dances and sings, and it's a celebration. And afterwards, we all have a feast. Well, that was uh, that wasn't cool. That's not Christian. So that was something we weren't allowed to do. So in 1742, a Reverend Paul Cuffey, who was a Shinnecock man, became a Reverend. Um, he sort of converted our our traditional non-Christian holiday into a Christian holiday, which we now celebrate as June meeting on, on Shinnecock. And it's uh, it's a time for all families to come together, and we have we have a situation out there where a lot of people can't live on the reservation itself. So it's a time for all people to come back and rejoice as a people. And we have a social, and we have strawberries, and that's sort of the, sort of the key to the whole thing: strawberry shortcake. And you're supposed to go to your elders' houses, and we all we all live really close. We can go from house to house and visit one another and share customs and stories in that manner. So, um, so that's um, that's pretty much our uh, our holiday celebration, and it's it's cool, and we do it today. And uh, the museum didn't have a uh, we didn't have a spring festival this year, but we're going to try to have one next year. This is a drum, by the way. It's an elk skin drum. It's a hand drum. We use these at powwow celebrations, and um, all right, I'll go into that now. Every uh, Every Labor Day, particularly, we have a large powwow on the Shinnecock Indian Reservation out in Southampton. And um, it's a time for everybody to get together, sing songs, eat food, meet one another. And it's terrific. And I left some information in the back on that. So if you want to pick that up, you can. And if you want to come out there, it'll be more than awesome because we have a good time out there.